those who have already received a realignment of the 12 strands of DNA, the 12 helixes. These 12 spiral strands of DNA interact with one another in the body and outside of the body. The connection of the 12 strands means that the 12 energy or information centers can begin to function and send information back and forth to one another. When human DNA begins to rebundle as a 12-stranded helix system, and this information is acted upon, there will be incredible power. Individuals, simply by coming together and jointly intending what they want, jointly becoming a telepathic receptacle for energies from all over the cosmos, will change the face of the universe. Life. There will be a merging of identities a merging of cultures, an infusion of many new world orders, and there will be much chaos and confusion. As members of the family of light, you can simply observe this, knowing that chaos and confusion must come to break down the system so that it can be rebuilt with light. As members of the family of light, you can understand that there is an evolutionary process taking place and that those who can handle the changing frequencies by all means will evolve. <laughs> there are many misconceptions about the idea of godhood. The universe is full of intelligent beings who have, over time, evolved and developed all sorts of capabilities and functions to serve their needs to express themselves creatively. The importance behind existence and consciousness is creativity, and creativity takes many forms. Eons ago, Earth was but a thought in the mind of great beings who had set before themselves the task of creating new forms of existence. Many of these beings affected the creation of this universe, and you have termed them God. In actuality, they were extraterrestrial, light-bearing energies far removed from Prime Creator. We rarely use the term God with a big G. If we were to use that term, we would be referring to the entity we know as Prime Creator. Prime Creator, in its own personal implosion through love, endowed all things with consciousness. All things are Prime Creator, on Prime Creator's journey. The evolution of consciousness and the ability to house information is what allows one to come into the proximity of Prime Creator. Many people on Earth have felt that they have merged with God. They may have merged with a portion of Prime Creator that best suited their vibration at the time. Those who are malevolent why are we telling you all this? Why do you need to know it? You need to know it because the living reality is re-entering and merging with your dimension. You must make peace with them and merge with them to create an implosion of the collection of your soul. In this way, you can come back to Prime Creator. There have been many other Creator Gods only some of which have had human form. Presently, your greatest state of unrest or discomfort comes from beings of a reptilian type of existence because they seem the most foreign to you. It has been our intention to expand your ideas of who your gods are because those gods will be returning to Earth. That is why the planet is going through such great turmoil. As you learn to hold the frequencies coming from the creative cosmic rays, you will be prepared to meet these gods. You must understand how to discern the extraterrestrial energies. This is a free will universe, so all forms of life are allowed here. If an energy attempts to frighten you, manipulate you, or control you, it is not an energy that would be in your highest interest to work with. You have a choice of who you work with. You are living in a most important time when energy is coming alive. 
The gods are here. You are these gods. As you awaken to your history, you will begin to open your ancient eyes. These are the eyes of Horus, which see not through the eyes of a human being, but from the point of view of a god. They see the connectedness and purpose of all things. For the ancient eyes are able to see into many realities and to connect the whole picture, the whole history. When you open the ancient eyes within yourself, you will not only be able to connect with your own whole personal history, you will be able to connect with the planetary history, the galactic history, and the universal history. Then, indeed, you will find out who your gods are. Once upon a time, there were beings who wanted to create something. In order to do this, they needed to go in, very subtly change a part of creation. These beings worked for, were associated with, and carefully guarded an aspect of consciousness called light. At different times, these guardians of light met and worked together and crossed paths in the different realms of reality. They planned, they shared blueprints, and they designed a time when their plan would go into effect. These beings had a plan to prepare at the time when that light would fit. These beings are you, and that time is now. The time has been carefully orchestrated, and each of you knows, in the deepest portions of your being, that you have come here for a purpose. The purpose, of course, is for each individual to become sovereign and for the planet to unite. Not everyone <clears throat> is going to make the shift. No. Everyone is not in the vibration that wants to work in harmony at this time. There are those on Earth who will feel as if they are in states of ecstasy when they find what they think is a new authority, a higher authority, a new paradigm animal gods, or whatever. <coughs> the family of light, as it has infiltrated and penetrated this planet, is going to create its own planetary sphere, its own Earth. Over the next number of years, those who come from the skies may not be members of the family of light. They will be the mirror of those upon the planet. We have said to you that you are less than this authority to become your own authority and to stop giving over your decision-making process to governmental people or parents or teachers or gods. It is time for the people of Earth to become sovereign. You are beginning to feel what may be coming. It is an awesome task to carry light. Once you put it in your body, there is no stopping it. There is no saying, I quit the light team. I won't be recognized as a member of the family of light. Some of you may want to do this sometimes, but once light is there, that is it. <clears throat> Many of you who have studied and used your own discernment will be shocked and appalled at the foolishness and ideological worship that the rest of the human race will express toward certain beings from space who pass themselves off as your creators even though they do not have bodies that look like yours. They will be able to do many things and will share many technologies. They will perhaps cure certain diseases that they helped create in the first place by teaching germ warfare to your planetary scientists. Oh dear human, you are in for such an adventure, and only you can carry this adventure out. When you begin to live all that we teach you, to trust identity, to trust synchronicity, to trust being a part of a plan, then you will find that even in the midst of great calamity and incredible odds, you will be able to defy the laws of humanity. All of this is to be felt. Allow your brain cells to click into being without your rational conscious mind wanting to define things down to the most minute detail. This experience involves raising a feeling inside yourself and then one day, at one moment, 
in one afternoon, having an overwhelming sense of knowing, having a composition of a thousand pages long come alive in five seconds of divine. <laughs> I've almost been there. It's almost like the aha. You moment. hold the history of the universe within your physical body. What is occurring upon the planet now is the literal mutation of your physical body. For you are allowing it to be evolved to a point where it will be a computer that can house this information. Before you came into the body, all of you committed to designing events that would fire your codings or blueprints that would activate your memories. Then you came into the body and you forgot. <clears throat> okay. It took me a long huh. time to be able to say Jill wow, has cancer. Uh, because that is such there. a scary thing. Oh, it is in there? And yeah, with what I suppose. All of you have had your blueprints and coding fire to some extent because you understand that there is a divine purpose or divine plan that you are a part of. Even me? Even me? The of your identity are going to become phenomenally intense. The reason for this is the evolving DNA. When you have 12 helixes of DNA in place, those helixes will begin to plug into the 12 chakra system. The 12 chakras are vortex centers loaded with information that you must be able to translate. You are evolving yourself even when you are not on the planet, and you are perhaps more involved with other identities of yourself. You have to become <laughs> super beings in whatever reality you enter because, as members of the family of light, the branch of renegades, this is your forte. Your you purposely forte. came to this planet to give yourself such a challenge so that you could be defiant, not in a way that would give you problems or create disharmony, but in a way that would create harmonic defiance. Through your harmony, you are defiant toward the old vibrational frequency. Hmm. Oh, my yeah. System, You're ready to, though. The creator gods to mm. step you up in number of dimensions or frequencies is based upon the evolution of the 12 helixes that correspond to the 12 chakra centers. Seven within your body and five outside your body. Man, they keep showing these, and they're only shown during <coughs> the St. Jude's Hospital. Creation. This is the journey you are on. We ask each of you to open your mind and heart, for within your body and earth herself lie the answers to the great mysteries you seek. Although we appear to exist from without as a collective of Pleiadian energies calling to you from the future, we also exist within you. We are your ancestors existing within you as well as without. We are you. How to lucid dream? Time, What's a lucid dream? The epics of existence calling to you yourself else, to reconsider all you thought holy. We ask you to reevaluate the perk. Greetings, friends of the universe. Today we are going to discuss lucid dreaming. What is lucid dreaming and how you can do it? Let's do it. For profound healing and spiritual evolution. And then there's one on here that says, don't lucid dream. See how much information and disinformation is out there. They, that's what they want, is us to be confused with our faces buried in our stupid fucking bones. The power to dream is the power to participate in creation itself. What is lucid dreaming? Lucid dreaming is a state of consciousness when we are aware that we are dreaming. Some might suggest that it gives us the ability to control our dreams. Oh, by but we can't. Lucid dreaming is best understood as a spiritual state present within each of us. That I can tell when I'm dreaming. I, I got a subconscious like, all right, I know I'm sleeping, but this is a dream, and I'm just going to let it play out. Spiritual 
I've done that. I, I know when I'm dreaming, I can go say to myself, all right, this is a dream. I know you're sleeping as a human being. And fucking roll with it. You can get shot. Let that play out. Some of these would be used. Oh, the biggest one. Look at the that most one. Important thing I and to the pizza hut. It's not freaking cool. Susan's liquor, of course, my mom would have that. Scoring a freaking buck. No no um, there was one where I go, why in the fuck would they have a MacBook? And it's like, and the it's like, and it's like and my mom, you know, it's, it's, it's free advertising. Right? And it's great advertising. Right? 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 And I like that. 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 Um, it's crazy like that. Mammies. Look at that one. Mammies. This one don't have that. Uh, we choose the address of the house. That's a picture. Oh, man. It is the actual pizza. Look at Yonkers. I just said, why would Yonkers? Yeah. Well, you know, downtown they have their, uh, And back then, everybody smoked. It was chic. It was hip. Howard Yonkers. Oh, yo. I like this one. It's like, got... Why it. What was it? it has this texture like velvet. Montana's. I remember Montana's. Wasn't that like out west? West of Moines? Yes. I remember. Yeah. It was like, you know, steaks. I remember. I mean, wasn't it? Western food and spirit. Yeah. I remember that name, but I don't really remember where it was at. East 7th and Court says. Um, I don't remember that one. E7th? That would be past the, the courthouse. That's the streets get bigger. Fifth, the courthouse on fifth. Then sixth would have been the Polk County Jail. Seventh would be where the fucking financial center is. There was a fucking East Wenton Court. Seventh? Oh, but that ain't court no more. That's Mulberry. Oh, East Seventh. On the East Side of the River, our side. Yes, it's the fucking. It's what the, it was the one that turned into a bar, a the two level one. It's now the bar association, the next to the old state liquor store. I remember Thanks to that passion, badass restaurant. Exists, which like a pile of one. For some fear, spiritual um, development. One thing and not the National Bank left out. Yeah, Hojo. Um, the delight of directing the dreams there are countless benefits. Breath savers. Breath savers. The biggest one were fucking the Caesars, the Stardust Palace, and the Dunes. Yeah. Dream the hard pack. And design oh, this paradigm shifting inventions. Ponderosa, the Ponder, you know what I'm saying, the civilian Missouri, fuck you, you can't take a joke, the Latin Latin King, still there. Oh no, let's say, let's go. Oak Park, Illinois? Yeah, I like them. Greetings, friends of the universe. Today I'm going to show you some ancient, magical, and mystical symbols. And you must choose one of them. Mm. The corner of the fucking Marriott. It was the coolest bar. I thought that was the coolest fucking bar in the whole city. Because it's right down the busy intersection where the Marriott is. And on the corner, and all the windows, and you could see the traffic during the loop time. I love Gambit. I would go there on my lunch when I wasn't even old enough to greet that I was in Norwest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because I dressed so nice that way on that book. Yeah, I know. The big wide one. Is a very powerful tool of magic. It is an archetype buried deep in the universal soil. 
of the human yeah. race and subconscious mind. Hence, the magical forces of the symbols get their power from yeah. every yeah. human being subconscious, linking the mind in an invisible, yet unbreakable way. Strouds? The more the symbol is used, the more magical power it receives. Chicken John! The following six symbols no are as powerful Gringos! Symbols. Remember Gringos? Over there at Merle Mall? Yes. Yeah. Look at this one, it's just a little narrow fucking... This is what a flash dance is coming out. How you know that? Oh, Green Goes and Garcia's I always get mixed up. What? Is that a movie theater? We still use it in oh, that's a Chucky Chong one? Yeah. Why don't they make a magic look like that? Isn't that weird? That's crazy, man. What's in here? Actual spices still? The moon! The moon landing! Which symbol do you choose? If you make your choice, then it's time for me to give you the meanings of them. Iowa Federation of Labor. Symbol number Gringos. one. The Eye of Horus. The Eye of Horus, also known as Wild Jet, the moon. is one of the most distinguished and used symbols of the ancient yeah. Egypt. If you choose the Eye of Horus, wow. your warrior needs protection immediately. Cool. It is the personification of Horus. Sorry, I'm saying this. We destabilized the rulership of his father. Some of them are really cool. The ideas the and the designs behind them. What was this? Wolfsons on 15th and Grand? And that karma never sleeps. I don't think I've ever heard of Wolfsons. Um... You have? Yeah. I don't remember the name, but it seems like I remember when I was little. That my mom to be at. Like I just took to go up the hill, uh, past WHO TV 13. No, wait a minute. That's what, that's 15th and Grand down there, right there by WHO and Grand. You know, where you can turn right at WHO yeah. and keep going. I think that's around. Yeah. I just remember going to, I just remember my mom going to this. We jelly down once in a while and get the sandwich from my dad. Really? But I don't know. Did you say it was Wolfens? Well, I don't know what the name of it was. I just remember being in that area. East Fifth and Locust, uh, Capital City Bay. I'm not going to still be there. Right. Let's start to see if we can 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 start to see that's fucking memories, man. What to do? Kingfish. Remember when they used to have the one then you up on your roof? About where that uh, month uh, schedules and exhausted lifestyle. Yeah. Remember when we used to have that? Oh, the fairgrounds. Yeah. 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 Uh huh. So me and Bubba would go there and eat because the, the current system the worked there and we'd get hooked up Beegs. Beegs Lounge. Yeah, that was where my grandpa's uh, uh, trailer was. By the lake. On Bolsa's Lake. You know, so. Ollie's in Clive. Never heard of it. Yeah. Chuck's Tire Exchange on 2nd Avenue. Chuck Lingle, owner. Really? This one. Yosemite National Park. Call your travel agent. Go to home and go. Dolls. Meet the dolls. There's a lot of them camel ones. Another Yunkers. It's Yunkers. Gianni's Italian Food, 6116 Douglas. This says, do not distribute these matches or tobacco products to minors. <laughs> people had to be told that, you know, because people are fucking idiots. Garbo's, 37th and Ingersoll. Look at that. I bet they like to have that as a, as a fucking souvenir, you know? I mean, really? Shifley Embroidered Emblem. Like Chicago Speakeasy. The Triskelion is a personification of the creative force of the sun. Schnucks Restaurant. What was that at? They always got the address on there, I noticed. 
Oh no, this was the check the yellow pages, asshole. That's pretty cool. Oh fuck yeah. I know. She got some fucking cool ones, man. You can tell the ones when we went down to Arkansas because there's a bunch of Missouris and Arkansas. Use an item and charge it with the power. Look at that, it's a card. It's a bicycle card. It oh, wow. It's a tin. You, you probably pick up like cards from back then or something. Circus. Circus, baby. Oh, yeah. The seafood place. Oh, uh, this is Richmond, Charlottesville, Virginia Beach, and Williamsburg. Remember that seafood place that was by uh, the hammer medical supplier? Kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do. I do remember that. How it began the matchbook. Yeah, well, the story of how it began. In, in Missouri. I remember Pronto. Um, they had one in Rolf. Right up there. Really? Mm -hmm. I remember when Kaylee was little. She was like two and three years old, and Donnie had one of those um, those enclosed carts that you pull behind you and the kid can sit in it. Yeah. On his bike. And so you take her all around it all the time, and she likes her free, so I say, Daddy, take me to Pronto. <laughs> Really? The paddle <laughs> In five seconds. That's good. This valuable information should be taught in every school. Look at this is El Dorado Casino with a lady laying down. It's a whorehouse. Damn. Oh, that ain't cool. What about pop? Same as water? Liquid, liquid. Wow. Iowa Parcel Service? I remember that logo on Vans. Mammy's Shanty. Oh, no. Mammy's Shanty, yeah, yeah. the Crystal Tree Restaurant. Well, that's apple pie. Really? Hi, <laughs> Thank you. She got to eat that. Look at the back of it. <laughs> the world does apple pie. There's a picture on the back of it. It's a bunch of niggas. Yeah. It's a bunch of niggas. <laughs> That's funny because isn't it black people that used to call them mom mammy or something? Or yeah, or something or absolutely. <laughs> That's funny that they have that fucking black kid. Mm. You all get them? Sure, I gotta prove it though. <laughs> I just want my I just want my Vegas ones set aside. Uh, 
every day.